guys, it's me, it's Gun Rain, and I am here to show you how to make a semi-automatic weed farm. I should say semi, um, because it's not 100% automatic, but it's pretty damn close. So, this is the one that I built in my world. Um, uh, actually, I'm on the ground right now, so you can't really see anything. But, um, this is one I built in my world. It's a very, very, very simple um, build, and I want to show you guys how to build it. By the way, this is on PS4, as you guys can probably tell. But I want to kind of show you guys how this one works. So, um, I'm going to be building one in a creative world. And I'm going to be building a grow above ground because I do not want to mine another thing out. That was hell. Um, but these are there's pieces behind here. Um, there is 144 um, pieces of wheat here that you get each time. Um, so I'll sh kind of show you how it works. So see it, switch up for flow, switch down for no flow. By the way, this is very, very, very simple redstone. I'm not very good with redstone, but I figured it out with no help. I didn't watch a tutorial or anything, um, but I have seen influence from other people. So let's go and test it out. So see what it does, it just destroys all the wheat. And um, then it, another kind of added thing, it's not really the purpose, but it will put, it will, um, make all the materials and stuff like that, and all the wheat and seeds come down at the bottom, so it's very easy to collect. Um, also on these, these are just kind of little pathways in case you need to fix something. And they kind of look nice too. So they're also there because wheat will, and seeds will sometimes fall and land on them. But that's uh, really all in up here, the repair room. This is the redstone. These are all pistons. I'll show you guys how to do it in the tutorial. Um, this might be a little bit of a lengthier video. I'm not exactly sure. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. And I will talk to you in a second. thing is that, yeah, you do have to go through and plant all the seeds again. But it only takes a few minutes. And it's... It actually saves you a lot of time since you don't have to harvest it, harvest it as well. Um, but so far, this um, system has been flawless. And um, another thing about the water is when it comes over, it doesn't um, deplow the dirt, so you don't have to plow it all over again. Um, and oh, another thing to mention is there's water underneath these pathways to feed these. But yeah, I'll show you how to do it all in the tutorial. Once again, it is going to be in creative, but honestly, the, this process is not much of a resource hog. Um, that's one thing that I have to say about it is, yeah, it does take some resources, but it doesn't take too much to be ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna... So this is just a small uh, little run through of what is done so far, just so I'm taking it piece by piece. So this is kind of the design. Um, feel free to pause here and copy it. Um, also back here I need to add there's gonna be a wall here you'll see it up in a second um, when I cut again but this isn't tilled yet uh, water is gonna go here then some more of the slabs are gonna go over the water like you saw um, pistons are gonna go back here as well so I just wanted to kind of show you guys um, what it looked like so I'll stand here and if you wanna pause feel free and that's basically the design you have to copy. This is, it, I'm above ground, but I decided just to make a little bit of a little uh, building. But okay, I'll see you guys. This is uh, another update. Um, this is getting closer to the final product. Most of its place. Um, as you can see, I wanted to show you. Oh crap. Um, this is where you put the water. And um, see this stone? This stone's. It, that stone's temporary, but there's going to be more that I'm going to add that um, with the pistons. So, um, oh crap, oh um, my bad, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this is it, and then if you come back here, you have the pistons, which are sticky pistons, and they have to be facing down, because this is the block, this block is what they're going to be pushing at, I actually have to remove it below there, um, but, um, and then this is where we're going to do the redstone, and I'm going to do that next time I cut in. Um, so now we're back here, and I want to show you guys how to do the redstone part of it. It's incredibly simple. You don't need to know redstone at all. Just follow it. Put the redstone down, and you get a redstone repeater. You put that down. Um, 
get another one here, you put more redstone down in between it, put another repeater, make sure it's closest together and it's facing that way, okay? That is crucial, also signal one piece step through, and then, oh, Then to test it out, what we do is we'll put a lever here and look at that. Okay, so I want to make sure that all the pistons fired. So yeah, see, every single one of the pistons did end up firing. So see, that's the basic redstone. And what else I'm going to do is I'm going to link around this redstone over here in a second. Um, but okay, actually I'll just stay on camera for this. Um, what you, what you want to do is you... All the pistons fired off and see how it's all covered now if you go outside okay i'll show you the difference so if you go here these are open all these ducks are open the water is going to be placed back there but if you close it and it's down then it's closed and the water won't have access that's kind of that's very key so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in here i'm gonna get some water and i'm gonna go and spread it so very crucial that um, you put the you don't want it to flow because it may, that's pretty sure it can disrupt um, how the water actually flows so make sure there's a divider between um, make sure there's a divider between each little section um, or else I'm pretty sure it disrupts how it flows um, but as you guys can tell it's a very simple tutorial it's a very easy thing to do and it kind of automates it there's a way to automate it more where you don't even have to collect all the wheat where you can use a hopper and another uh, bucket of water to put it into a chest which I will show you how to do at the end of this video as well um, but that's only if you want to do that so if you're not planning on doing it there's no point in you watching it but so now the water should flow and I'm not going to test it yet. I'm very calm. It, it, it will. So I'll be right back. Um, I'm going to wire just a little bit off camera. Um, I'll show, actually show you. So what I did is I just looped around. Oh, stupid sheep. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh my God. Technical difficulties. Okay. It doesn't really matter. But so I just looped the redstone around from right in there. So the lever's not right there anymore. Um, very easy, just two repeaters should do the job. And um, look here. So now basically up means that there is gonna be, let's see, let's see, see, see if it's up, then the pistons are up. Uh, as you can see, I have it blocked off because I don't wanna get all this stuff destroyed. Um, but if it's down, and you can't hear the pistons, I'm just outside of range then the pistons are down. So it's pretty straightforward, up is up, down is down. And so I go with that up, I put that up and the pistons will be up. So when the pistons are up, that means there will be a flow. Um, so when there is a flow, there'll be no signal going through the redstone. It's very simple, um, that's all you really have to do. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not um, the most like, it's not flawless there i mean it's not the most efficient way i guess but to me it's very efficient for being very easy to do so that's going to be it i'm gonna wait for this to grow then i'll demonstrate it but um i'll see you guys later and this video will be up shortly and i will actually in the end of this i'm gonna figure out how to make it automated like an automated system where you just press the button and all you have to do is replant it. You don't even have to worry about picking everything up. I don't really think it's necessary. I think picking it up is easy because you just basically walk back and forth over here and maybe go up like this a few times. But that's really all you have to do. But overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to stick around for the extras, feel free. But oh, so actually, if you stick around because I'm going to demonstrate it. You already saw it in the beginning, but I'll, I'll just show it again to make sure uh, to show that it. Here you go, this is a demonstration showing that it actually does work. All the wiring was set, everything was set. One problem I noticed was there's a few dry patches that I don't know how they got there. Um, I was AFK while I was waiting for this to uh, grow, so maybe a mob came in 
and um, trampled over a few of it. But it was kind of kind of weird because I'm not sure if it's something to do with the water or whatever. It might be a small annoyance, but honestly, I really don't think um, it's that big of a deal because it didn't happen to me at all in my single player world. Um, and this is a test world, by the way. This is just a small building um, that I used for the test. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, oh, something I need to mention is that <laughs> this is a chicken. Um, that it, it actually gives you a lot, a lot, a lot of seeds. It gives around five stacks of seeds and two and a half stacks of wheat. So it's definitely efficient and it's very easy to replant. Um, another thing was I was going to add on um, another part of this video and make it even longer where it was going to be talking about how to automate it using hoppers but I think I'm gonna say that for another day just because the video is actually pretty long already and it's a little drawn on so I don't want to bore you guys too much but I hope you guys enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching it means so much to me it's so much to me um, now have an awesome day like comment and subscribe oh also another thing I want to mention before this video ends is me and our mag 42 one of my closest friends we're thinking of making a Minecraft Let's Play on the PS4, uh, where we just play together, record it, and post it. Uh, hopefully, it'll be fun times together. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you um, want to see that. And I just want all the feedback I can get. And tell me if this tutorial was good. I really don't be too harsh on it, just because there's no need to be. But if it's not that good, then just say, hey, you can improve this and that. But Time's up, guys. I'll see you later. Peace out, muchachos.